Yeah, that's cool. Right. We good. Let's see. Okay, whatever is in your spirit. You can just read it and we'll touch, you know. Very hit the food. Let me do this one. All right. It says uh, St. Louis reinstates mask mandate and more cities may soon follow. All right. That, 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 the, all these, you know, I mean, I think it was even in Cali too. You know, more and more cities is getting ready to reinstate and enforce, you know, having to wear a mask, man. Yep. And what does that mean? Another lockdown is coming, all right? Because even though they're, they're reinstating, you know, mask mandates, a lot of people still aren't following those, man. You know huh. what they're going to do? You might know what? Fuck it. You're not going to listen. Lockdown. Yep. That's that, what's going to happen. And that's exactly how they're going to try to portray it. And another thing too, it says a lot of states may call a lot of states may follow or whatever. States will definitely follow, man, because mm -hmm. the thing is, it is an agenda, and you're seeing it. A lot of mm -hmm. presidents again put to death because they're going against the, the decrees of Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to follow the, the narrative about the jab and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So they're getting silent, so to speak, man. And this is Isaiah ten and one. Woe unto them <laughs> that that decree on righteous decrees, God. that right grievousness. Which they have prescribed. Come. That's unrighteous decrees. Come. Forcing people to wear a mask again, man. This is this is all a part of his unrighteous decrees. Oh, man, these are draconian measures, man. Draconian legislation. This is draconian measures, man. Man, no ball, ball, ball. All yeah. these devils, man, is going to get a rude awakening, man. But hey, these are prophecies that is supposed to come to pass, man. These must happen, man. Yep. All right, it's just the cleansing that's going on right now. Con. It's right. gonna be by way of fire. Come on, man. All right, and um, you get that another, another that other article. Come on. <clears throat> this one just came up. Let me see. It's talking about a deadly heat wave. Yep, the deadly heat wave, man. Okay. <laughs> through the Pacific. Let me read the whole thing. So it says a deadly heat wave continues to rip through the Pacific Northwest, endangering countless animals in its path. All right. And that's crazy too because you know this this deadly heat wave is 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 killing animals and I had did a lesson on this in uh in Tampa in Tampa in Tampa Bay in the coast of uh Tampa Bay uh uh it was like hundreds maybe thousands of fish uh, uh came to came to the shoreline. All right, they were all dead. Dead fish were coming to the shoreline, man. All right. Animals is dying. It's like in the time of uh in the time when, when when we were in captivity in Egypt, man, all right, when 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 when, when, when there was all the uh, the plays I was coming upon Egypt, man, all right, the 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 sea turning red, the fishes, all right, dying, all right, it's the damn near the same thing going on right now, man, all right. And matter of fact, let me pull this out. <clears throat> uh, uh, let me see. Oh, right here. This is Hosea the fourth chapter, verse three, and it reads. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beast of the field mm. and with the fowls of the heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away, man. That's, That's what's going on, man. Beautiful precept. That's what's going on, man. How about Shema Shai? It's taking away all the beasts right now. Taking away the beasts, taking away the fishes, taking away the fowls, man. You're seeing more and more animals die. You're seeing more and more, you know, you know animals get just taken out of the earth, man. All right? Because even the animals are in mourning right now, man. That, that just goes to show you how fucking polluted and defiled the planet Earth is, man. To the point that the animals can't even survive in water no more. The animals can't even live in their natural habitat anymore because it's too hot. Because they're fucking with the ozone layer. They're making it hot. They they have all these weather machines. They're just, they just fucking the Earth up. And, and you niggas want to stay here still, like... Shit, dude. This is Robert Ecclesiastes 43, starting at verse one. The pride of the height, the clear firmament, the beauty of heaven, with his glory shoot, with his glorious shoe. The sun, when it appeareth, declaring as rising, a marvelous instrument in the work of the most, high, the work of the most high. At noon, it parches the country, and who can abide the burning heat thereof? A man blowing a furnace is in the work, is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more. Breathing out fiery vapors and sending forth bright beams, it dimmeth the eyes, man. Great is the Lord that made it, and at his commandment it runneth hastily. Runneth hastily. Pretty much I want to get the scripture that said, Who can abide the burning heat thereof, man? Mm -hmm. And if you can't abide the burning heat of the sun, sure as hell ain't going to be able to abide the burning heat of the missiles because one nuclear missile is as hot as the core of the sun. <laughs> Multiply that by 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles, you know, man. It's crazy. The, the core of the sun is, the sun is so hot that you would disintegrate 
before you even get a certain uh, a certain a certain a distance uh, yep. from the if the earth was probably like a thousand miles close to the sun we all would be there right now right that's yeah. how just so imagine core of the sun you know the bro. core of it the core what? of it man that's one missile disintegrate and when you actually go into the and not saying that that's the exact that's the exact um heat you want to put it up here Okay, Khan. Okay. That's not saying that that is that's the exact heat of the of what the missiles is gonna be, but I did the I did the math on it, you know, through the spirit. You can put it here if you want to. Uh, I like it going like straight up. Khan, I did the math on it pretty much. Like if you go into it, it was thirty six. Um, I think it was thirty six trillion degrees Fahrenheit hmm. when I did the math. That's fucking hot, man. That's why I was talking about how. Earth is gonna melt with fer the elements of the Earth are gonna melt with fervent heat, man. Because missiles are so hot that it can melt oxygen, man. Imagine you breathing in fire. That's how hot the missiles gonna be, oh, man. Because it's oxygen in the air, man. Right. So <gasps> it's like you ever worked out with a training mask on? You know, how it's like hard to breathe. It's like hot air. It's like tough on your lungs. Right. That's what it's gonna be like, man. Right. On a thousand. Who can abide the burning heat the rub, man? So you ain't gonna be able to abide the burning heat of the missiles, man. Wow. You know, and so that's another thing too. The record heat waves. Okay, wow. and you gotta think about it. When there's a record heat wave and there's a drought, you know, the water system is messed up, the food is messed up, people are not gonna be able to withstand the elements, so to speak, man. Especially during the time of Jacob's trouble when a lot of people are dying because of famine wow. and then they got the hot ass sun beating on top of them. They gonna be fucked in that day, man. Wow. Go ahead. This this uh the next uh, headline. Come yeah, come. This next one really is getting into the uh, if you could if you could see if you could receive it. This next one really is going into the mob. All right, and it reads, the city of Montclair in California to require maskless city workers to wear the Crown Royal uh, 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 jab stickers. All right, to show that they got the jab. All right, all right. Because they not wearing, they're not wearing their mask. So it's like, you know what? We need, we need a, we need a sign on you to know, you know, who, 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 who doesn't got it, man? Who doesn't got it? Type stuff, man. All right, but if you do have, you know, to wear it, you know, they, they started to create that, that, uh, that system to be able to differentiate. Okay, who has it and who doesn't? All right, and that's gonna, you know, that's gonna get into that whole jab, man. Not the whole jab, the whole uh, uh mark, man. The whole mob, man. Yep. All right. Fine. And it's only right because, you know, that's the perfect way to set up the narrative, you know. How can we truly verify? You have people who are faking their C-19 identification cards and all this other stuff, you know. How do we know you went for your extra booster shot? So the best way they're going to do it is, look, scan your hand with your chip. It has all your medical records in it and so on and so forth, man. You know, he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads. No man's gonna be able to what buy or sell, so on and so forth, save he that had the mark. Hey, that's what that's that RFID chip, man. And that's what mm -hmm. this is leading up to, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Like this, like like they said, um, I believe it was like uh, uh Nick Rockefeller said like pretty much the goal is to get everyone shipped. Mm -hmm. That's that's the whole that's the whole uh, uh um main objective, man. God, you know believe, what he saw. And I think it was the it was the Rockefeller Foundation that donated, I think it was like thirteen point five million to uh to uh it was to something. I think it was either a, a medical misinformation or it was to uh to uh to to just, you know it was something to promote the to help the uh the whole Crown Royal thing, you know, the whole jab, the whole you know, the whole little uh a juice thing that's going on, man. So they donated money to help that, to fund it, to help it, you know, be better. And mind you, mind you, they're doing it from their own foundation and their name. But mind you, they've already been funding this. They've already been putting money into this from different foundations, from different places, different names. All right, it's still their money, okay? But this time, you know, they came out through their own foundation, whole Rockefeller Foundation said we donated 13.5 million, all right? So that's nothing compared to them. Right. But in all these other, you know, they have all these different organizations. They were donating millions and millions and millions into that whole, uh, uh, whole, um, Whole foundation, man. Okay, and that was all really through them. All right, they just you know because they know they they own they own these different places. Just their names not on it, but they own it. Right. All right. Yup, that's what they do. They'll have front men, Con. pretty much. You know, but really that front man is answering to them. Con, it's like a little smoke screen, man. It's like yep. a puppet. Yep. All right. Exactly. Uh, you got the next. Con, you got like two more. Pretty much. Touch the bottom. I'll save the last one. 
this one kind of goes back into the you know the, the heat waves all right and um it says it's so hot in dubai that the government is artificially creating rainstorms hmm. all right the, these devils is trying to play trying to play like they're the most hot man right. all right playing with the weather man all right and and we've been saying that all right in babylon they got a weather machine but people are like no nah, man they don't got it they don't got it but now that Dubai say they got it. Now they're like, oh shit, maybe we do got it. You know, right now, you know, if you can see behind me, it's, it's about to rain right now. You see thunderstorms and everything. Like the past couple of days, man, wild thunderstorms, man. All right, for all we know, those could be the fucking these fucking devils playing with the skies, man. Yep. All right, trying to cover up the, the, the heavens so we can't see up there, man. They're probably trying to hide the chariots from us, man. Like, yeah. come on. But they, they, I remember I was reading into it. They, they have little drones in Dubai that they send up into the sky. And you know they let off, they shoot off these little chemicals, and, and they you know they interact with each other, and they they basically are forming the the sky, the clouds to create rain, like dense clouds to create rain particles. So they're really just playing with chemicals up there, and everything that's coming down from there is straight chemicals, man. There's no water, it's it's not pure water. It's truly straight chemicals that's coming down from the heavens in Dubai, man. All right, so imagine if a, if a child goes out there and he's just like, oh, it's water, and drinks that shit. Fucking die. You don't know what's in that, man. It's probably destroying crops, all right? It, 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 man. I got a precept. This is Revelation 13, starting at verse 13. And it's really talking about Esau, Edom. But you know if, you know, Ishmael or Elam, whoever that might have been, got that technology Damn well, no, Esau got the technology, man. All right, it's uh, Revelation 13 and 14, and he doeth, it's like the Revelation 13 and 13, and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. How does he make fire come down? By his sending off his missiles, all right, his different rockets that he shoots off, that's fire coming down from heaven. It says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Oh, also Esau has his uh, do weapons or DEW direct direct energy weapons, which is pretty much like laser beams. Mm -hmm. That's fire coming down from heaven. All right, it says, and he deceived them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles, which the miracles is pretty much his technology that he has in order to do these things, like you know manipulate the weather, manipulate the elements, make fake food, so on and so forth, mm -hmm. which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. Which had the wound by a sword and did live. And that image is the Roman Empire system, man. Being reinstated all over again. And this is Rome reincarnated, man. All right, and we're seeing this place fail. Go ahead, you got the... You know? Yeah, man. This, man, throughout this lesson, man, you're seeing more and more of why this place must be destroyed, man. Uh -huh. This, the, the, the articles we're bringing out, the, the things that's going on in Babylon should be vexing your spirit, man. If it doesn't vex your spirit, then you're a demon. Straight like that, man. Because this shit is supposed to vex your spirit, man. Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. Come on. So if you're okay with the way things are going down, then that means you, you're you okay with wickedness. Come on. Oh, yep. This one right here. More pessimists. So it, it says, scientists just discovered more than 30 viruses frozen in ice and most have never been seen before man so that's more pestilences that that the lord is getting ready to unleash onto onto the planet earth man we thought this whole crown royal thing was it what 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 was, was was just the only pestilence not nah, man there's gonna be many many more pestilences to come many many more way deadlier pestilences to come it will probably be a pestilence that the minute you get it you'll die within 10 minutes of getting that man it's gonna be way more pestilence to come, man. Yeah, I man. A part of that pestilence is the missiles because if you breathe in that um that radiation and stuff like that, man, from getting exposed to that radiation when the missiles hit this place, let's say you did survive the nuclear blast, the radiation that's gonna be coming from this place, man, you will die in minutes, uh, probably even seconds, because it ain't gonna be just one nuclear missile hitting this place, man. Mm -hmm. You probably get a fucking instant tumor the size of a football in your head. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is um, man, what's that scripture, man? This is uh, man, what's that? It's in Deuteronomy twenty-eight where it talks about the Lord is gonna um, pretty much bring the the plagues upon them that they haven't seen in Egypt. 
Let me see real quick. I'll look, look it up. I know it's called Lame Labash Let's see. I know what you're talking about. Pretty much, Laura said you're going to get hit with even worse plays than, than what you saw back in Egypt. So bear with me, Bob. I know it's in Deuteronomy, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, Deuteronomy 28 and 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, okay, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord Yahweh will bring upon thee until thou be destroyed, and ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord Yahweh, thy power, man. All right, so hey, <clears throat> verse um. 64 or verse 63 and it shall come to pass that as the Lord Yahweh rejoice over you to do you good and to multiply you so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught and you shall be plucked from off the land whether thou goest to possess it man so hey that's it and Robert brought this out we be a part of the elect number to get saved from that judgment man because like the Lord said the diseases that's not written in this book is going to come after you man all right so like I said, they found new viruses, man. Mm -hmm. Flirty new, frozen and ice, man. And you know what's crazy, too? It's just a matter of time until all that ice melts, man. Oh, that's the spirit. I was because ice that. been melting lately, man. Because, okay. you know, these devils been fucking with the skies, fucking with the ozone layer. You know, there's a hole in it. So it's, you know, global warming. All right. So that's just going to melt down. New heat wave record, man. So mm -hmm. what do you think is going to happen, man? <laughs> you know, and and even if the eyes didn't melt, the Lord still have it set up to where these devils just curiosity killed the cat, so to speak. These devils they going and you know, cause like when well, you had a you had a you had a question like, what the fuck were they doing to just randomly stroll along an iceberg mm -hmm. with all these viruses in it, man? You know what's crazy? It reminds me of a movie I saw on Amazon. It's called uh, I think it's like it's called Tomorrow War, and basically you know they they they're fighting a war in the future, but you know not to digress, but you know, basically they were fighting aliens, but the aliens, you know, they were already there, right? They were already there in the ice, right? They were there thousands and thousands of years ago while they were, you know, all the humans were just chilling and whatnot. They were already there, but as the ice melted, they got unleashed mm -hmm. and they just went out. And the same shit with these viruses, man. Yeah. There's all these viruses that's, you know, in all these remote places of the earth that the Lord is just storing. He's like, I ain't even let this shit go out yet. No, what? Let's let's warm it up a little bit. Let's warm it up a little. Let's let this one go out. Boom! Right. Now that one's out. Then this one's out. That's you know, fucking hundred viruses get out one time. Uh. Yep. Talk about the call like how they call it. Calling like about your mouth Like how they call it like the um, the black plague. Yep. You uh, know, where all these people was nine. Which wiped out two thirds of the population back then, man. Ooh. So it's getting ready to, so two thirds getting ready to be wiped out again by get back various different judgments. Like the scriptures talk about the four sword judgments, man. Mm. <laughs> how should I say it? Famines, pestilences, the sword, so on and so forth, man. Okay, hey, this is the times we in. So mm -hmm. it would behoove you to repent, uh, to turn back to Yahweh uh, Shah. But we know that, you know, two thirds is through, man. We just pray Yahweh Shah have mercy upon us, man. Uh, and if you don't repent, then shit, ultimately, you know what your judgment is. Right. Like we was bringing out the precept. You see what your judgment is, man. Uh, if you do not want to repent to your Haobashi Shah and give up all this bullshit and fall lost at your commandments, do the work, do what you got to do. If you don't want to do this, this is what's going to happen. You're going to catch a missile. You're going to be missile food. You're going to get fucking tore up out here. You're not going to be protected. You're just going to be devoured, man. No mercy, man. You're going to be destroyed. Utterly and painfully, man. That is what's gonna happen to you, man. This is not the Christian church where it tell you you got as much time as you need. The, the doors of Noah's Ark would never shut until you come inside. No, fuck that, man. Right. If you don't repent, you're gonna die. That's what's gonna happen, man. Yeah, the most that is high. what's gonna happen, man. The most high ain't waiting for you, nigga. Come, man. man. The terror of the Lord is why we persuade men. This shit is real out here, man. If you're not afraid uh, uh, of a power that could just that a power first and foremost that created the heavens and the earth. All right, look around you. Yahweh uh, Shemashah created all of this around us, man. If you're not afraid of, of, of a power that has the, the the power to do that, man, 
You're gonna be fucked out here, man. Stay like that, man. It's Jeremiah. It's like, Go ahead. Yeah. Jeremiah 15, starting at verse two, and shall come to pass that they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shall I tell them, Thus saith the Lord: Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, mm -hmm. and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Mm -hmm. And I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord: The sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, mm -hmm. and the fowls of the heaven, mm -hmm. and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. Man, mm -hmm. okay. So the Lord is gonna. The Lord is saying, Look, this is how this place is gonna go out. I got another precept. This is Revelation chapter six, starting at verse eight. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him and power me was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth which the fourth part of the earth represents america it says to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth man okay so these are the times that we're coming into man i expect to see a lot more wild animals being in uh human populated areas man mm -hmm. expect to see more famines expect to see martial law mm -hmm. expect to see your neighbors you know losing affection for you mm -hmm. all right expect to see the love of many waxing cold man mm -hmm. all right expect to see the economy crashing mm -hmm. all right expect to see you know gas prices being shut up all right expect to see all types of stuff like that mm -hmm. natural disasters earthquakes in diverse places uproars of the people cannibalism mm -hmm. the stocks the shells that once you saw was once stocked mm -hmm. expect to see them empty man mm -hmm. all right expect to see them coming down with more draconian legislations mm -hmm. and measures expect to see them forcing that vaccine and that mandate going door to door mm -hmm. casting people out of their houses man these are the times that we're coming into and expect to see miracles man Ooh. all right expect yeah, to see the expect, spiritual man. power of yahweh bashmel shai coming in for his servants man you know so that's really the point you know so hey you got anything else Mm, I mean, we could you had that one article, or you already brought it out? I think I brought it out. Let me see. Con. Con, con, yeah, I did bring it out. That was the last one I brought it with the ice. Yep. Uh, so, like, with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. by some Yahweh Shai, by some Kakwadash. Double honors, those and apostles, of great most, and every well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and a bubble ball. Shalom and a bubble ball. Repent while you still have opportunity, man. All right, or else feel the death of Yahweh by Shemel Shai.